Welcome back everybody. I hope you all are well and uh, if you stumble across my channel, I'm Jay and I create content for film students, teachers and young creatives. Today I want to show you a really cool site that will improve your lighting skills right from the comfort of your computer. That's coming up right after the intro. So you're going to go over to the Googles, right? And you're going to type in virtual light studio, and it's going to be the first website that pops up. I'll also link it down below. You can simply just click the link that I provided after the video. You're going to be met by this screen here, and then you're going to press to start as it, as it instructs you there. So right off the bat, you've got a character, you've got some lights down at the bottom, you have different characters off on the side, and then you have some squares, um, on the other side and you're like what are those and I will get into those let's start right up at the top so here we have ambient and ambient is instead of having that black background you can actually add color to that black background you can have a white light or you can have a colored light by giving it a gel you have intensities of gel so you have one quarter one half three quarter and full and you have all these colors here to choose from now you're able to go white which will give you what which will be none just a white light or you can go let's say i pick uh i pick green a full green right here you have it and notice that there's some spill on the side of his head if you want to mitigate that spill you could actually go into the negative on the power output so the more negative you go into the less uh the less spill you have on your character you can go to manual and then you have settings here. You have the exposure triangle setting down at the bottom and that will affect how the ambient affects your character. All right, so let's click off of that. You could also solo um, what, how, how much of an effect you see from the, uh, from the ambient. So when you solo the ambient, it turns off the light. So going down from the ambient, you have a square here and that's, it's actually a toggle that allows you to toggle between the character that you're lighting and your light plot. So here we have the light plot that shows you where the light is in relation to the subject, which is very helpful when you're trying to um, get better at portraiture. So in the controls, I can actually rotate. You see that? And now I can see the light moving. Plus, if I toggle back to my subject, I get to see the effect on my subject. We have different characters that you can choose from. You have Lee without hair. You have Lee with hair, right? And then you have Angela. Um, uh, and then you have Bob down at the bottom. So it's your preference uh, what kind of personality you want to uh, light. So that's that. I want to mention the uh, capture feature over to the right hand side so when you click on it, it captures what you're working on so like in math when you're doing a problem you want to show your work in this um, application it allows you to show your work the great part about it is that you can have multiple setups so for example i can have this setup here with a side light and then i can have another setup where i'll have the light behind him and it's uh let's say it has a red has a red gel on it or well, let's do a blue gel and make it really bright so there's my character with a blue light on him and I'm gonna go ahead and put a modifier on it and I'll put a modifier on this light and I'll bring this light closer and I'll bring make it a little brighter and bring it up higher let's say that this is this is my my light setup what you can do is you can actually click here and it'll save that light setup but then you could also have a different light setup so for example let's say that i wanted just the backlight to be on and i want to mess just with the backlight so i can go ahead and make that backlight brighter right and i can save that one so now i have this particular setup saved i have the two lights saved and then i have the side light saved so you can save as many as you like now if i were to right click here so if i were to right click and go save as i'm on a mac here we have it where when you bring it back up what you have is the character and the light plot 
But at the bottom, if you look down at the bottom, it has the lights that you used. It has the power output for each light, even if you use gel, colored gels, and the distances, plus the modifier that you may have used. And it has every decision you made to create that image. This is really great for students. I want to keep track of their work and see their improvement over time. Plus, it's great for teachers uh, that want to check for understanding and see students progress over time. Now, if we go further down, you have the trash can feature where if you click on it, it activates the trash. And the nice feature about it is that it, it does a double take where it puts an X over your capture and then you have to click the X to confirm that you indeed want to delete it. Now, as we continue um, going further down, you have six lights here and I'll get into the controls of the six lights. So right off the bat, you have the lights that you can turn on and turn off. You have six of them that you can choose from. <clears throat> you can solo them down at the bottom. You can solo that just that one light to see the effect of that one light, right? So I'll solo this light. You can see that it's just that. You have the modifier, like I showed you earlier. You have a flash, you have a snoot, you have a ring light, and you have two different soft boxes, a medium and a large. You can play around with those and see the effect on your character. Directly underneath that, you have the output of that particular light. You can overexpose, underexpose, get the exposure just right. Then you have, to the right of that, you have gel. So you could actually add a gel right and see the effect of that gel again you can do a quarter uh, a half three quarter or a full gel for a really dramatic effect right or you could just have like a little hint of color at one quarter so after that directly underneath it i already went over the power so plus is more power over exposure minus is less power under exposure right then you have the rotation. So you can rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. So as you can see here, if I switch and toggle back to the light out plot, to the light plot, I'm able to rotate uh, to the left and rotate to the right and get the light on the opposite side on the character. Directly underneath that, you have bringing the light up, moving it above your character's eye line or below your character's eye line. Right, so I can do this, right? And it can give me a, di a completely different look. I actually like that look, that looks pretty cool, right? Or I can bring it back up so that it's more uh, out of 45 from him. You can bring the light further away from your character and that's best illustrated by going to the light plot. I can bring it further away. See how far away that light is, right? Or I can bring the light closer to the character and it really softens the light and like I said you can solo the light and only see what that light is doing right then at the bottom you have um, how the the light is interpreted you have TTL uh, you have uh, meters I believe that is Lux foot candles and then luminance Okay, so you guys have the link, you have the instruction. It's up to you to take it to the next level. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Uh, let's use a hashtag for this on Instagram. Let's call it virtual lighting underscore Espinal. Let's go with that one. Virtual lighting underscore Espinal. Let's see what you guys come up with. So that does it for this week's video. I want to thank each and every one of my 161 subscribers at the time of this video. I would like to reach a thousand by the end of December. Uh, my students tell me that I have to upload more frequently, uh, so I'm definitely working on that. Um, if you are a true believer, uh, you know, you can definitely join the Patreon down below where you get extended videos and much more. If you found some value in this video, give it a like. Keep in mind the links below are not affiliate links, they're there for you. But if you'd like to uh, support the channel, you can hit the tip jar also below. Share what you've learned with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications. You guys know the drill. Until next time, stay creative, y'all.